But first, let's enjoy a special Mount Prospect Public Library Foundation concert highlighting the spirit of Motown. A record label born in the automotive capital of the world, Detroit, Michigan, Motown is synonymous with the era in which it was created, producing music as innovative and progressive as Barry Gordy, the man who founded it. It's the late 50s when Barry Gordy decides that he would rather be um, a record producer. He was always like looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, I think, and that he realized that that's where the money was in music. So he, uh, he buys like a small little house, and in the basement they record in it, they call it the Snake Pit. He gathers the best jazz musicians from Detroit's thriving jazz scene, and they produce hit after hit in the 60s. And I know that you guys are singing these lyrics in your, in your mind too. Pianist Jose Sandoval performs fragments from Motown's greatest hits while giving a history lesson about the artists who, in some cases, reflected a turbulent time in America through their music. I'm going to be doing kind of a sampling of the different songs. There's so many great songs that if I were to play them in their entirety, the program would be more than just an hour long. So I'll play a little bit of the verse and a little bit of the chorus and talk about why the song is exciting. Maybe there's a story behind it. Diana Ross of the Supremes grew up right next to Smokey Robinson. I've been doing music my entire life and now it's evolved into this where I present programs and I have a really great time playing in concerts. The thing that made Motown unique is that it was one of the first record labels where people, regardless of their skin color, loved the music that was coming out of it. It was so catchy and poppy that everybody uh, had something that they liked about the artists. It was one of the first record labels that's black owned that had crossover hits. Also, some of the music uh, in Motown really did act as anthems for the civil rights movements and you know, the Vietnam movement. So it's really quite exciting that this touches on some real life things. It shows you that music really isn't just isolated and living in a bubble or on some ivory tower, that it actually really does touch people's lives. Sandoval's one-man show, entitled The Spirit of Motown, Soul and R&B, is sponsored by the Mount Prospect Public Library Foundation in recognition of African American History Month. This music has real integrity. The songwriters crafted beautiful lyrics, and the band musicians who did those exciting hooks, the things that we remember, like at the beginning of My Girl, that guitar riff that starts it off, they were the best in the world, and so it's really quite exciting to be involved with something like this. Nearly 100 patrons sit back and enjoy the music and real life stories surrounding Motown's biggest stars. It's a celebration of the Motown artists, band members, producers uh, that made this music so great. Smokey Robinson was Barry Gordy's best friend, so he's perhaps one of the best well-known artists that was involved in every aspect of Motown. Uh, you may also remember Diana Ross and the Jackson 5 later on, Stevie Wonder, uh, the Four Tops, the Temptations, the Temps. I think my goal for doing this program is that I want to expose uh, a new generation of musicians to the Motown music and get involved with it. And also uh, I want uh, the people who live through it to really appreciate, uh, re-appreciate that music and kind of revisit that again. Mm -hmm. 